Well, hello everyone, it's me Chanel, and today I have a thrift flip, a piece of furniture that has been purchased from the thrift store, and I am just going to remake it over. Now, this particular piece I'm going to show you in the beginning, the actual piece, the color that it came in, sort of this greenish blue color, and it had several coats of paint on it, and what we did was just sand it right on down, down to the natural, beautiful wood color, and I'm just going to bring it on in and show you exactly what we did. I don't have the actual footage of the actual labor of love that was put into the piece uh, getting it back down to the natural piece but this is what it looked like in the thrift store before now as you can see so far is this piece was inspired with its castle-like European look of the shapelet period with its scrolled legs and serpentine shaping. It's very elegant and feminine in its style, in my opinion. And we just took it back to its original glory and feel of the natural wood look with this soft amber color that it has. going to do here now is just go ahead and take a little water and wash off again all the extra dust that may have settled once we did clean it off while it was sitting in the garage after sanding it down as you can see here with the piece it does have you see the little crud that is still in between the dresser or the drawer excuse me the drawer spaces that is on the chest well that is just all of the excess paint that we just could not remove the man could not remove after stripping and stripping and stripping so it's just the excess paint that is there so i'm giving all of the drawers again a good wipe out and i didn't want to paint the inside of the drawers because again i wanted to keep it more in keeping with its original form and seeing all of the natural woods and then i'm just going to spray it down with a little essential oil mix here each drawer um, just to give it an extra scent of goodness <laughs> while it is in the house and uh, that's what I'm doing here showing you all of that I'll insert all of the drawers and continue on with the piece and give you a little bit more information and then stay tuned to the end and I'm going to style it up two different ways just to show you how it looks when it is just to show you how it looks up top of it with accessories added to it as well painting the entire piece but I again quickly changed my mind because I didn't want to disturb again the integrity or the beauty of the entire piece I just wanted to let the natural woods kind of shine through uh, from the sanding that has already gone on with the piece and again I just absolutely adore this piece the construction of it the joinery of the woods it is just absolutely gorgeous in every detail of it. It is, it is definitely completely constructed of wood. But what makes it absolutely fabulous about this piece and that is timeless is that, again, the joinery of it, it was not made using any screws or nails the entire piece. The only nail you see is from where someone took the piece and tried to just repair uh, pieces that were on here and they used a very small nail a tack nailer and they used it to fix one of the uh, drawers that was in here on the piece but the entire piece again is beautifully crafted wood and again completely you can tell made by hand it is not manufactured this was handcrafted by a wonderful artesian a wood maker that a carpentry person that just absolutely adores woodworking and again I love the rolled legs the scroll legs that is down here and that says a lot about the piece and I will insert some pictures of other furniture especially by hooker furniture that makes this type of furniture in this look very expensive furniture Normally you'll find a piece like this in the range of probably anywhere from 2500 on up to 
and I am not kidding here. You can look online, look up, uh, maybe I'm not pronouncing it right, I probably am not, Shetlet, Shetlet Furniture, uh, the Shetlet Time Period of Furniture, that's what this is made of in this particular style. what I'm showing you here is the beautiful joinery again that I was telling you about because the wood I mean the piece is completely constructed of wood without nails and screws in here it is just joined by carving out the wood using your tools that a carpenter or a wood maker would use a furniture maker when constructing wood and the different types of joinery that you have that they use to join pieces of wood together so that they are beautifully constructed and can withstand the test of time. And this is a example of that particular type of joinery. Now, I'm sorry for the noise in the background. Now, what I mean by joinery uh, in, in carpentry work, it's a method in which, you know, two pieces of wood are connected that's what joinery means. Two pieces of wood that are being connected, you're not using screws or nails to join those pieces together, which is this right here. You use it normally when you're constructing like doors, uh, furniture, flooring, those types of things that you, th that's what you use is called joinery. Now, when you're looking for a great piece of furniture, that again can withstand the test of time such as this piece here you want to look for these types of construction that they're purely made of wood through and through now don't get me wrong some furniture some furniture out there is not completely just wood it is wood if that makes sense but they do use extra veneers to get those beautiful finish those textured looks so you may use a complete wood piece, entirely wood, and then they use a wood veneer, which is a thin, thin layer of wood. But as you can see with this piece, it is not layered with any veneer. As you can see right here, this is a complete piece of wood, and we have sanded it down, probably a little bit too much, but sanded it down because it was caked on with the paint. The man did the um, stripping and all that for me on this particular piece. I did not have to do that. He did that and I'm sorry I don't have the footage for that. Now when the piece was purchased it did come with some actual knobs that were on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those particular knobs but I'll insert a picture here and show you what those look like. That the owner, previous owner had on here which is actually very very cute. <laughs> I like them a lot. I have this knob that they had on here as well. Now what I'm gonna do just for showing you purposes, I'm just gonna add the knobs back on here so that it looks somewhat finished while you are viewing it. And then later on, I'll come back in another video and show you the updated look with the actual knobs that I'm gonna keep on here. And I wanna keep with somewhat of the time period of the piece when using the knobs. So they won't be modern style knobs. They will be period looking knobs that I will place back on here or something that coincides with the look and the age of the piece so that it all looks like it gels together being an antique old piece finish watching the entire video and the two different looks in which I styled up top of the chest of drawers and I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget at the end, like comment share and definitely hit that subscribe button this has been Chanel and I'll see you all in the next one